This video covers the features of App Manager Control Center that might be new to users who have only been working with the App Manager Operator Console. This video assumes you have a basic understanding of App Manager from an administrator's perspective. After you log in to Control Center, the first thing you'll notice is that the layout is similar to that of Operator Console, with a list of all your monitored resources on the left. This is the Enterprise Layout view of the Navigation pane. You use management groups like Agent Managed Computers or AM Logical Servers to organize and monitor the physical computers and logical servers in your App Manager environment. Now let's go back to the Navigation pane. The Enterprise Layout Summary view displays when you select the top-level App Manager object in the navigation pane. From this view, you can manage your repositories, security, deployment, and management groups. You can double click a management group name to get more information about that group. Another feature that's unique to Control Center is the ability to deploy or install a module to an app manager agent computer through the console. You can check in a new XML installation package for a module, set rules for the deployment of that module, monitor your deployment tasks, and review details about your App Manager module inventory from the deployment view. Let's go back now to the Enterprise Layout view of the Navigation pane. By clicking the Manage Repositories button, you can view a list of all the current QDBs you are monitoring. Unlike Operator Console, you can now monitor multiple QDBs with Control Center. Specify the name of the QDB that you want to add along with its credentials. The primary QDB is the repository that contains the knowledge scripts you want to use when running App Manager jobs. The QDB you just added displays in the dialog, and shortly the QDB shows up in the navigation pane. Let's take a look at some other features of the Control Center interface, starting with the Tasks pane. From the Tasks pane, you can add another computer to monitor. Let's use the QDB we just added. Specify the name of the computer and click Add. And after a brief wait, the computer you just added shows up now in the Enterprise layout of the Navigation pane. Let's take a look now at running Knowledge Scripts in Control Center. To run a Knowledge Script, use the Job Tasks Create New Job option on the Tasks pane. We'll run an AM Health Discovery script on that computer. The status of the job displays in the Jobs tab for that computer. In addition, you can click the Jobs view to monitor all jobs running on the members of a specific management group. Just as the Events view lists all recent events for that group. Finally, you can still start an ad hoc job by dragging a knowledge script onto a physical computer or logical server in the navigation pane. You can check the status of the ad hoc job on the Events tab or the Jobs tab for that computer. This concludes our brief tour of many of the key features of Control Center for Operator Console users. For more information about App Manager, Control Center, and specific App Manager modules, go to our online documentation sites listed above. Thank you.